right this is a lecture a very easy lecture on elementary divisors and invariant factors of groups should be a very quick one right for a group of order x the elementary divisors are all combinations of the prime factors so if we have the order x here and the prime factors are p1 squared and p2 then the elementary divisors are in brackets p1 p1 p2 and p1 squared p2 the invariant factors are the combinations of these so we have to combine the any any items in these which are co-prime so if p1 and p2 are co-prime then we'll have this as an elementary divisor wait no sorry as, as an invariant factor so p1 and then p1 times p2 if p1 squared and p2 are co-prime then p1 squared times p2 will also be an invariant factor and if you want to write these as a direct product of indecomposable groups then you just do it as z of p1 cross z of p2 cross z of p3 however, however many times you need to or z of p1 squared and so on I think you get the idea right examples a group a has order 50 find the elementary divisors and invariant factors right first we have to set it out in its prime factors which would be 2 times 5 times 5 yeah now we want the elementary divisors so we write them all down so we'll have 255 five and 25 squared which is 225 yes now the, for the invariant factors we have to combine any co-prime things so here we've got 2 and 5 which would be give us 10 and 5 and here we've got 2 and 25 which will give us 50 so these are our invariant factors this is very quick and easy as I said and group B has order 300 this is the last example find the elementary divisors and variant factors so first we need 300 in its prior prime factors so it's as, sorry not as prime factors as products of primes so we'll have 2 which gives us 150 times 2 times 3 times 5 times 5 and, if, and that should give you yeah that's right 300 so now we want the elementary divisors. So we'll, again, we'll start off by writing two, two, three, five, five. Then we have two, two, three, five squared. Then we'll have uh, two squared, three, five, five. Then we'll have four, two squared, three, and five squared. Yeah. So I, I hope you can see what I've done here yeah now we want the invariant factors and well I, I picked a big number on purpose so that we'll get lots of stuff so first we want to get the co-prime stuff of here which will be 5 and 3 and 2 they're the most that we can get out of that which if we multiply will give us 30 and then anything that's left we've got left a 2 and a 5 which are co-prime as well so that's 10 so we'll have 30 and 10 and all of these should multiply to give you 300 and that's a good check if you've done it right so this one's turned into 30 and 10 this one here we've got 2 3 25 they're all co-prime so we've got 2 and 150 here we've got 4 3 5 they're all co-prime which if we multiply gives us 60 and 5 and here, all of these will multiply together to just give you 300. Hopefully. There we go. And that's that video. I hope that made sense. It's pretty easy stuff.